Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. In this video, we're going to do the gaming test for the Xiaomi Redmi 3S Prime. So the hardware inside the phone is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 430, which is clocked at 1.4 GHz. And it has an Adreno 505 GPU, which is running the 720p screen IPS display, which has a pixel density of 294 ppi. So it should not be very hard for the processor and the GPU to run this uh, phone or the screen for heavy gaming also. We will find it out soon. It has 3 GB of inbuilt uh, RAM. So on top over here in the screen, you can see there's a thermal imaging camera's uh, real-time monitoring the uh, temperature of the phone. So as you can see right now, the phone is at about 31.7 degrees and whatever is the hottest in this frame, what this thermal camera will see, will come up as yellow. So right now my uh, hands are at about 37. So you can see it looks the yellow, most yellow part over here. And as the things are colder, they become purple and black. As you can see, the table over here is sort of black in color. So that's how you can come to know which are the parts which are the hottest or which part of the phone is heating up. As you can see over here, the LED array inside the phone is heating up. So uh, we can see that yellowish color coming up over here. Also, you can see the reading in the middle of the screen at 32 now. So let us start uh, gaming. So we'll start with Asphalt 8. Let's just check the battery also. We are at about 48% now and we're going to start gaming. So as always, I'm not going to skip the loading times because we need to know how long does it take for a game to load. The game settings are at maximum. So till now, no heat, but we can see some yellowish color coming over here. I have uh, stopped all the gaming music or in-game music because there can be copyright <laughs> issues coming up in YouTube. So my hands are extremely hot today, I don't know why. Or this phone is cold. So as you can see, it's already reaching about 34 as the game is loading. So the processor is probably over here somewhere. So the loading time was quite okay. This video is at 60 frames a second so if there is any sh lags or anything you will be able to notice it. I think till now the game is running very smooth, the graphics are nice, no issues anywhere. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I love this phone because of its size because I'm used to playing on huge phones and this just feels like a little pocket rocket for gaming. I just broke a pillow. So one thing I'm noticing is the speaker is not very powerful. And it's easily muffled when you hold the phone. 
I mean this is at maximum volume it's not really especially the last device I tested was a K5 Note and that also had a single speaker but it had good audio from that single speaker this one Xiaomi really needs to learn how to put better speakers on their phones this is just not acceptable I mean what's the use of a phone if you can't even hear it ringing I remember the Mi 4i also had this issue the Redmi Note 3 was alright but I think this phone again has a bad speaker but I think they can fix it in a software update so asphalt 8 is done let's take a look at the temperature so you can see processor, processor is over there it's at 39 and otherwise the phone does not feel warm at all yes this area feels, feels slightly warm that's all no heating as such at all till now so let's see the ram we have 1.7 gb out of 3 gb is available so we are not going to kill asphalt 8 we'll start with the other games let's start with modern combat so you can see here on top uh, the yellowish next to my hand is beginning to heat up at 39 that's where the processor is and obviously the led array i think for the screen is over here so those will also get warm let's check the temperature it's at 37 so that's also at 39 i just love these ir cameras they can show you so much information so i had a bit of a wi-fi issue but let's continue Very smooth. The screen touch is also very nice. It's nice and smooth. I don't have any screen protector on top because Xiaomi has not provided with any of any screen protector. Again, this is a very graphic, graphically intensive scene. So, working pretty smoothly. I don't see any hiccups over here in terms of game.
So it ran pretty smoothly. Let's see the temperature. 42, 43. Still not hot to touch. I mean, that is really nice. See, 40, 41 on the back. A little bit hotter on the front. And rest of, rest of the device uh, seems pretty cool, as you can see by the colors. The yellowest part is the hottest. So let's not kill this and play Nova 3. In this game, the game loading is taking a bit of time. Again, it's loading. So now it's loaded. Let's go. Pretty smooth now. Okay, I'm dead. So Nova 3 also ran pretty smoothly. Let's see how much RAM we have. We have 1GB of RAM free now. What about modern combat? So it's just really reconnecting to the internet, but it was still in the memory. Nothing was killed. And uh, we will quickly play Temple Run now. So the temperature, as you can see, is about 41, 42. So in this way, you can actually know what's going on inside the phone with a the thermal camera, rather than just measuring the temperature. How is the phone dissipating the heat? How is it cooling the processor? And uh, you know what is the mechanism going on? So that's a good thing. So I hope you get a better idea of the cooling of the phone. Let me just zoom out a bit. So again, loading times are a bit longer for every game I have noticed. But at 9,000 rupees, I don't think you should be expecting more than this. At least it's running them very well. Okay. Don't want any music. Oh shit. After a long time I'm playing this game. It's changed a lot. I think back in 2011 
I had a phone called Motorola Defy. It was a waterproof phone. I used to play <laughs> this game on that, including Angry Birds. That time these games were very exciting because a whole new generation of phones were launched. You know, Android phones. It gave us so much uh, freedom to do whatever we wanted with our phones, and all these games were free. So it used to mean something. No, <laughs> I just don't game at all. I used to have a lot of free time back then. Running pretty smoothly. I don't think we need to check temperature run any further. So temperature again, hovering at 40. Let's check uh, need for speed no limits. Sorry about the muting of the volume because I have to uh, do it because of copyright issues. All you YouTube creators out there must uh, feel the same way when you get that email from YouTube saying there has been a copyright claim on your video. It really breaks your heart a little bit and you just skip a beat. I don't know, it's very scary for me at least. I just feel like I did something wrong. And then the email starts saying that, no, this is just a warning, something like that. Luckily, YouTube has added a feature now where you can remove the music. It does take about hours, a few hours of uh, YouTube editing, where it reprocesses the video and removes the audio which was uh, claimed by the copyright owner. So that's a good feature because earlier we just had to remove the video and re-edit it and re-upload it so we just lose all the views on that video. I know this video is getting longer because uh, first of all uh, the loading times are really long in these games on this phone. So. It's just something I don't want to skip over, I can just edit this out but I want you guys to know how it loads the game and especially that's why we noticed in this phone that the loading times are quite long. So the Redmi Note 3 is much faster in loading games and uh, you get the 16GB, 2GB model for just a thousand rupees more than this phone. And you also get a full HD screen and a 5.5 inch screen, a stronger processor. So for gaming, I think the Redmi Note 3 would be better. So I gotta hold this. Okay, okay. I thought we'll try a new game this time. I always just play Asphalt 8. See, this game is running pretty well. Again, I'm saying this for the price. Look at what you're paying and what you're getting. I'm sure the music that is playing in the background of this game is going to create a copyright issue. We'll just play it a little bit more and then we will end the video. I just want this phone's temperatures to rise a bit and as much as possible so that we can know how much it is heating up. I didn't know it nitro worked in the air also. 
So guys, I think uh, this much of gaming is enough and you get an idea that this phone can handle pretty heavy games and does not heat up much and only this area is where you will feel some warm, uh, warm to touch. The rest of the phone is still at a very uh, normal temperature. Let's just see. So it's at 38, 39. So the heat from this has come and uh, spread all over the metal body of the phone which will help it dissipate and will not heat up uh, the device totally too much. So guys, I hope this video helped you out and uh, if you want to buy this phone, definitely go ahead and buy it. You can do gaming on this and uh, the link is in the description. You can use that to purchase this. There is a 2GB model of this phone which is for about 7000 rupees and uh, that is also going to perform the same way in gaming. So if you do not need the 3GB of RAM, and the fingerprint sensor you can go for the cheaper model which is 2000 rupees cheaper it just uh, it has the same 32 gb inbuilt storage for gaming i would give this phone a thumbs up especially for the price you can definitely game on this the loudspeaker is not that great so probably wear your headphones or do something like that or pair a bluetooth speaker and you can game with that otherwise you will just have to manage with this uh, small speaker speaker over here but uh, Finally, again for the price, it is uh, great, it can game, uh, so gaming is possible on this phone and you can really enjoy this phone. The screen is also nice for the gaming and the touch, is, touch response is also pretty good. The accelerometer and everything works pretty well and it does not have any heating issues also while gaming. So thanks for watching this video guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please uh, subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video hit the like button let me know if you like this uh, new uh, thermal imaging uh, pop-up picture which you which i'm showing you of the temperatures tell me your feedback whether that helps you out or not and do you like it because uh, it does take a bit of more hard work to make the video with the thermal imaging thanks again for watching and uh, as always i will see you in the next one take care bye bye